morning, Cassie. Glad you can join us. Sorry, I'm late. Hi. <clears throat> morning. Kids late again. Okay, you have a good day, Mr. Rodriguez. Thanks, you too. Hey, what took you so long? I thought you left the house right after me. I did. Traffic was unbelievable. <sighs> okay, I'll log you in. Go get your drawer. No, no Mom, please. Please. Stay up all night and talk with your friends online, but you can't come in here 20 minutes late all the time. Mom, this is like the second time this has ever happened. Just relax. Actually, it's the third. If it happens one more time, Mr. Crenshaw's gonna let you go. But he said that? Why doesn't he just tell me to my face? Because I'm the one that convinced him to hire you. That is so passive aggressive. What's your 20? Unit 6, at Union, and West Calmia. You may not need this job, but I do. Oh, so I'm making you look bad? Is that what you're saying? If I'm such an embarrassment to you, then why do you force me to work here? Force you? Do you know how many kids your age are out of work? Besides, I thought you wanted to save for college. I... You know, lately, I don't know about college. You promised me you would enroll at the JC this fall. Maybe I changed my mind. Oh, when are you gonna get serious? Here we go again. No, you don't wanna work. You don't wanna go to college like the rest of your friends. Look, I don't care what you do at your time. Just find something, anything you're passionate about, and do it. Mom, can we talk about this at home? I'm at work. Ugh, you remind me so much of your father, so I'm funny. Look, turn around. I don't I need, need your help. I don't need your help. I'm sorry. You're right. It's just, uh, sometimes I forget. What? That you're all grown up. <laughs> Look, I know it's corny, but to me, you're always gonna be my baby girl. I can help who's next in line? Shoot you both. I'll take my chances now. Give me that key. Hurry up. All of it. Put it in the bag. Right on time. Let's go. Listen to me. Go outside and let him in. Do whatever you normally do. Don't try to give them any kind of funny signal, because if you do, I'll shoot you in the back. 
Good morning, Cassie. Good morning. How's your day going? Really good. You? Another day giving 100% to the top 1% so they can keep me in the bottom 10%. How's your mom? She's good. That woman deserves a promotion. Five years working for this company, and I bet she hasn't missed a single day. Kinda makes you wonder why the hell we even do this crap. Where's everybody? Ah. <laughs> Please, they have my daughter. I cannot just stay in here. What if it was your daughter? Hurry up. Gotta make sure. Hey, John, you on fire? Hey, John, do you copy? Oh, please. I'm sorry. I can't. Ah! Need that key. Dispatch. This is radio 10-3. I'm going inside to check it out. Where are you going? Robbery in progress. Shots fired. Copy that unit six. Police on route. Zipper stuff. What? You kidding me? Why are you doing this? Let's go! Wait a second, I've seen you before. From school, you graduated last year. She didn't graduate, she got kicked out. Grace? Hi, Cassie. Why is she here? She recognized me. Oh, that's great, just great. Are you out of your mind? What the hell is going on? <laughs> How much you get? Probably twice as much as we expected, but so what? A hostage, Abby? Seriously? I had to. She was not part of the plan. Yeah? Well, bringing live ammo wasn't part of the plan either. Oh, wait, you did that? Yeah, and she shot the guy from the armored truck. Oh, my God, we killed somebody. We didn't kill him, okay? He was moving when I ran out of the truck. I can't believe it. We're screwed. Everybody just chill, okay? We're not screwed. It's a black marking gun. I made sure to cover my ass. Unlike Abby over here, stupidly decided to bring her best friend along. Her best friend who's gonna talk. She won't. She knows us. She will. What were you thinking, Joyce? You could have got us all killed. Ladies and gentlemen.
gentlemen, I am FBI agent Christine Mendoza, and I'm going to be leading this investigation, which means I'm going to have to speak to each and every one of you. So please don't leave the premises. Folks, I'm Detective Barker. Please have a seat in the sterile holding area over here. If you need I'm medical Joyce help, Allison, my daughter. Ma'am, please, we'll be with you in a moment. Just take they a seat. They kidnapped my daughter. Come with me. I swear to God, if you tell the cops I did this, I'll tell them you helped Abby plan this whole thing, which you practically did. Knock it off! We hold Cassie until tonight. That'll give us time. You can go get out of the state, and I can do what I gotta do. What the hell are you doing? Taking the back way. The cops will be looking for us on the main road. What does she mean that I helped her plan this? Abby, what does she mean by that? Forget it. The less you know, the better. Don't listen to Marie. She's full of crap. Watch your mouth. No, wait just a minute. So a couple of weeks ago when you were asking me all these questions about the bank, about my schedule, how many employees are there, the vault, what time the armor truck arrives. I thought that you just wanted a job. I was trying to help you. And you sure as hell did. Shut up, Marie! I trusted you. I'm sorry. And you set me up. How could you guys do this to me? Cassie, take it easy. Why, Abby? I had to! Grace, stop the van right now. I'm getting out. Okay, cool. So you're going to let her call the shots now. Is that what you're going to do, Grace? Grace! Cassie! Calm down. Grace, do it now! Cassie. No! Wait, no! no! driver was shot this morning as two heavily armed men wearing ski masks held up the Palm Vista Bank here on the 2300 block of El Cajon Boulevard in downtown San Diego. The robbery happened right around 9.30 a.m. just under an hour ago. Fortunately, the driver sustained only minor bruising due to the bulletproof vest he was wearing at the time. According to the bank's manager, the two masked men escaped with an undisclosed amount of money and were last seen driving away from the bank in a green van. Must be nice to work with your daughter. It is. I got her the job to spend more time with her. Her dad died of colon cancer when she was 10. Sorry to hear that. I hadn't really been there for her. Maybe I was the reason she was getting into trouble at school. What kind of trouble? Oh, she was suspended? For what? Fighting. Takes after her mom. Well, here this morning in the vault, you and your boss got into it. Well, yeah, I was trying to help Cassie. So you interrupted an armored car driver who attempted to stop the getaway? Yes, he was aiming toward my daughter. I understand how you feel. Okay, I'm sorry. As a mother, I believe I have the right to protect my child. But you forget these armored car drivers are trained to handle the situation. Do you have children, Ms. Mendoza? No. Well, then forgive me when I tell you that you're wrong. Because there's no possible way you could understand how I feel. Mendoza, we got the surveillance video queued up. Please stay put.
think I messed up my leg. She can't afford to. Like you said, if she goes to the cops, we'll say she was in on it. We'll say she's the insider. But that'll never happen, because she's gonna do what I say. Right, Cassie? Right. Grace and Abby? They might be your friends. Don't confuse them with me. Check this out. Freeze. Does that look weird to you? Yeah. Play it again. Right there. She says something. Why are you doing this? What do you think? I think I'm gonna go talk to the mother again. need to pull everything out of the van and wipe it down. You do that. I'm getting my money. I, I think I, I it broke my leg. The bone is popping out. I'm so sorry I grabbed the wheel. I should never have done that. Shut up. Take this. Start picking up the money. Go. Abby, we got to get out of here. Yeah, no kidding. No, someone might see us. I got it handled. How? I said I got it handled. Go. A moment prior, she's cowering in fear. Then, suddenly she stands, and they stare at each other for nearly 10 whole seconds. Now, I'm no psychologist, but I'd say given the proximity, they seem pretty comfortable with each other. Well, that could mean anything. You have no idea the emotional hell she was going through at that moment. Actually, I do. Were you there? He was aiming a gun at her point blank. Miss Avison, I spent 10 years at the border during the Mexican drug wars. El Paso, Matamoros, Tijuana. I've seen more than my fair share of hostage situation, kidnapping attempts, and beheadings. Great resume. You want to impress me? Find my daughter. I think they know each other. What? It adds up. Body language, the way they talk to each other, 10 seconds of visual recognition. You have got to be kidding me. Dozen people in a vault. Your daughter's the only one chosen to empty the cash drawers and escort the courier from the armored car. They grabbed the last person to go into the vault. That just so happened to be Cassie. You show me a video of these bastards sticking a loaded gun into my baby girl's face, and then you try and tell me that she's working with them? Are you crazy? We'll talk about this later. Please excuse us. We'll do it later. Don't worry, you'll get your cut. Oh my God, Marie! You called your boyfriend? What did you tell him? Everything, I kinda had to. That was not part of the plan. Baby, baby! Nobody's supposed to know about this! <laughs> Come here. <laughs> See what you got. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! <laughs> hey, Nick. How'd you get here so fast? You live across town. Shortcut. Who's this little sport rocket? 
Shut up, she's not your type. <laughs> Let's go. Bye. We have to get her to a hospital now. Yeah. I know. What's taking her so long? She's probably updating her Facebook page. <laughs> hey, everybody. I just robbed a bank. OMG, so much fun. <laughs> You're not funny, Nick. So why is it that they brought you along? Your driving skills. Oh, kiss my ass. Abby needed help. I was the first person she called. Was this worth the money? We didn't do it for the money. Hey, I just 
just got a call from the station. It looks like they might have found a getaway van. Where's the mom? I haven't seen her. My dad does real estate in foreign countries. Three weeks ago, he went down to Tijuana. He said they grabbed him right off the street. Drug cartel, mafia, I have no clue who they are. But they called me and told me that I had to give them a half a million dollars by today or they would kill him. Pretty good scam if you ask me. Who's asking? Ow, 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 ow. Sorry. Why didn't you just go to the police? You heard what he said. If I go to the cops, they will kill him. Aren't they in Mexico? I mean, how would they even know? They told me that if I tell the cops, that the cops will tell the feds and the feds will tell the Mexican government. And that they would find out because they have people working inside the Mexican government. Okay, so why don't you just use your own money? I mean, your father's like a millionaire, right? This house alone must be worth like... Zip. Mortgage to the hilt. My dad lost everything in the recession. We have nothing. Boo-hoo. Poor little rich girl, forced to live like the rest of us. Ever since I lost my mom, it's just been me and my dad. And I didn't have anybody else to turn to. Why didn't you just come to me, instead of doing all this behind my back? If I had, would you have helped me rob the bank? That is 370,000 United States currency, baby. And that's just what's in this bag. Give me the bag so I can check the rest of it. Let go, Marie. No, you let go. Uh, what was that? Someone pulled in front of your house. Oh, it's Cassie's mom. Mom. Grace. <laughs> Kidding me? I just finished stacking this up. Nick, now! No, I don't think so, baby. Bring me the other bag. I'll count it. Abby! Hurry up! Go now! Freaking kid. Oh, come on, come on! I know you're in there! Easy. Please open this door. You say a word, you're dead. If your mom walks little right now, I'm gonna shoot her in the face. Oh. Abby, I need to talk to you now. Please, you know that I saw you. Please open this door. What are you doing? Abby! Everybody be really quiet. Hi, Joyce. Good morning. Hi. Abby, I don't suppose your dad's home? Mm-mm. He's on a business trip. Why? Where's Cassie? What? Well, I'm... She's not here. Abby, don't lie to me! I'm not lying. <laughs> Is Cassie in some kind of trouble or something? I don't know. Is she? Okay, you're really starting to scare me. What is going on? I think you know exactly what's going on. I do, because I... Cassie! What? Hang on! Cassie! Wait, no, she was with you, right? I mean, she's working today. Stop with the act. I know you were at the bank today. Where is she? At the bank? She bought the bank. You took Cassie hostage. What? I could have told the police. I didn't. All I want is my daughter. Please, where is she? Joyce, oh, slow down. <laughs> so the big world lost to the crush. We take a hole in the desert, mm -hmm. get rid of both of them. Mm -hmm. Shut up. This is a still frame from security video at the bank. This is the wrist of the person who robbed us this morning. Oh my God, are you okay? Was anybody hurt? Abby, stop it. I was with Cassie when she bought that for you. I'm 
a million people have bracelets like that. Cut the ball! <laughs> no offense, but are you on like some kind of medication or something? Because none of this makes any sense. A few weeks ago, Cassie told me you were asking her a lot of questions about her job. Yeah. Why were you so curious? Joyce, be real. Do you really think that I'm the kind of girl who would rob a bank? You're telling me that you have been here all morning alone. Yeah. Prove it. I guess you're just gonna have to take my word for it. No, I guess I'm gonna look at every room in this house. I'm gonna go in the room right now. Wait, 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 wait. Cassie? Get in the bathroom, get in the bathroom. Cassie, are you back here? Wait, wait, Joy, yeah. wait, Miss Ashley, please. Uh, Cassie? Are you Cassie? back here? Wait. Hey. Baby, what's going on? Um. This is, um, this is my friend's mom. Oh, hi, I'm Jack. <laughs> hey, babe, why don't you go back to bed and I'll be in in a minute. Are you sure? Yes. Mm. I lied. I wasn't alone. Please don't tell my dad. I guess I owe you an apology. I'm sorry. It's okay. You've been through a lot this morning. What about Cassie? Do, do the police have any idea where they took her? No, not yet. Um, the cops said that once the bank robbers get far enough away, they usually let the hostage go, but I guess I'll just have to wait and see. I'm really sorry. What's this? Coyote Pass off Highway 98. Oh, that's just a message from my dad. Some guy called about some kind of development out in the desert. I'll have to remember to get that to him. <laughs> I'll let myself out. She's gone! Go! Hey, that's twice today I've saved your bacon. Least you could do is say thank you. I'm not sensing the gratitude right now. No. I think Abby needs to learn that it's better to give than receive. taking it all. We had a deal. I changed the deal. Marie, please, between your bag and mine, I'm sure we've got over a million dollars right now. Our agreement was you keep everything over 500,000. That's not enough for you? I have expensive taste. Okay, what about Abby's dad? I mean, you saw what they did to him and if they don't get the money that they asked for, they're gonna kill him. That's Abby's problem, not mine. Let's go. I say we kill all three of them, cover our tracks. It's not required. What if they talk? Then they'll get 30 to life for armed robbery. They're stupid, but they're not that stupid. Come on, let's hit it. Marie! Come on. Come on.
What's happening? We need to get out of here right now. Why? Because Nick and Marie are going to be back any second. And this time, they will kill us. Move. When we get to the hotel right now, I'm going to throw this money all over the bed. <laughs> oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to throw you on top of it. <laughs> and then I'm going to take off my... What the hell is this? What? You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna drop you off a couple blocks away from the hospital. I know that I have no right to ask you for a favor, but can you please wait to talk to the cops until after four o'clock? Just give me that time to get my dad back. Can you promise me that? Yes, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm worried about Abby, you. let's go. Okay. We're gonna take my dad's car so Grace can fit in the back seat. Upstairs. Yeah. They're not here. <gasps> so, what exactly did you see? Well, uh, there were four women who came from the van, and then they walked up that hill, and uh, a brown truck arrived, and a man stepped out, and then everyone got in, and they drove off. Women. You sure? Yes, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what a woman looks like, dear. What age were they? Well, uh, the guy was in his late 20s, and... The girls were college age, or high school, maybe. And what ethnicity were they? Well, they're all, all white, except one girl was African-American. Looks like she'd broken a leg. They were helping her walk. Yeah, this is a long shot, but any of the girls look like this? Well, you know, I was standing all the way over there. I'm not sure. Yes, possibly, you know. Yes, one girl did look like her. Thank you, Mrs. Wells. Agent Mendoza, uh, before you leave, maybe you could help me. I, uh, I'm looking for someone. His name is Gary. Gary Wells. He's seven years old. He should be back by now, but I, I, I haven't seen him yet. And oh, I'm very, very worried, and I want you to look for him, please. OK, I'll do that. I I I'll wait for your call. I want you to alert every emergency room in the area to be on the lookout for an African-American girl, 18 to 25, with a sprained ankle or a broken leg. Oh, wait a minute. You don't actually believe what she said, do you? My grandfather was the same way. You know, one second he'd be sharp, next second he'd be floating off to another planet. Not gonna hold up in court. How did you know they would rob you? I didn't. But when we flipped the van, Nick came to pick us up way too fast. And then when we got home, I saw footprints in the house. And the back door was unlocked. I mean, I always lock that door. My guess is, while we were robbing the bank, 
Nick broke into the house and was waiting to ambush us when we got there. But then Marie called him to come pick yeah. us up. Come get us across the van. You what? You heard me. But you got the money, right? Shut up and get over to the old dirt road. Yeah, I'll be right there. Regardless, he and Marie were planning to screw me over all along. So while you guys were waiting outside in the car, I counted the cash and I put it underneath the bathroom sink and replaced it with my dad's paperback collection. Hello, this is Joyce. Mrs. Abson, this is Detective Mendoza. I've got some new evidence involving your daughter. What is it? I'd like to discuss it in person. Can you meet me at the FBI headquarters on 3rd Street? One last favor. When you talk to the police, leave Grace's name out of it. Um, hello, thank you. I don't have that long. Are you really gonna go talk to the kidnappers without any protection at all, like a gun or anything? Do I have a choice? I mean, my life's over. I'm gonna go to jail either way. But I'm gonna try to get my dad back first. I'll see you later. So when do you think this happened? According to eyewitnesses, the car crashed at about 10.30 a.m., 45 minutes after the robbery. But by the time we got there, the car was already abandoned. Do you know if Cassie was with them? Somebody who looks like your daughter was seen there, along with a man in his late 20s and three girls approximately Cassie's age, one of whom had a broken leg. Miss Avison, three teenage girls robbed your bank this morning. And the reason I called you in here today is because I need to talk to you about Cassie's friends. I'm going to need a list from you of names, email addresses. No. Cassie's friends are all going to college. Trust me, they're not spending their summer break robbing banks. Are you sure about that? Tell you what, um, why don't you give me a list of names and I'll confirm whether Cassie knows them or not. I mean, that's the way that it's supposed to work, isn't it? Look, I'm just trying to help you here, all right? The best thing you can do right now for your daughter is give me as much information as possible so that A, we can find her, and B, we can rule out any connection with the bank job. And if I don't? Well, then the evidence just stacks up against the both of you. Excuse me? That little stunt you pulled this morning with the armored car driver, covering up for her now? I mean, how do I know you're not the insider? How do I know you're not orchestrating this whole thing? OK. I get it. And now I won't be discussing this any further with you without a lawyer. Please, it's just a list of names. I mean, that's all I'm asking. So what happened to you? I was hiking, and I guess I wasn't watching where I was going. OK, on three. One, two, three. <sighs> well, I guess you're not going to do that again. Thank you. You watch her back, OK? Yeah. OK, ortho room, what to dry dressing? Ladies. Hi. Um, I'm going to need you both to fill out some forms. Uh, can't Grace just do that? Well, this is for insurance purposes. They're going to want as many third-party statements as possible. So I tell you what, why don't you have a seat and I'll go get the paperwork. Um, sorry, but we don't really have time. Look, it's only going to take a minute and it's really going to help your friend out. Okay, we'll, we'll come back later. Excuse me, ladies. I have a word with you in my office, please. Uh, what's wrong? I just need to ask you a few questions. Why? Just routine. Nothing to worry about. 
Please, follow me. Look, we just came to drop off our friend. I'm sorry. I can't let you do that. No, they were here. They just ran by my security officer. No way! Okay, thanks. I'm on my way to the hospital right now. All right, see you soon. Okay. What? Is it them? They call from a different number every time. Hello? Hey, chica. We just watch American TV. Somebody robbed the Palm Vista National Bank and got away with a million dollars in a green bag. I don't know what you're talking about. You think I'm stupid, huh? I tell you what I think. I think you got a million dollars and you're not telling us. I don't have a million. I have 600,000 or so, but that's it. The price just went up. You want to see your papa alive? You meet us at the border in 90 minutes. You bring us a million dollars. You can't do this. I did what you asked. One million. Don't be late. Watch up his head. Gracias. <sighs> Say. Abby, what is going on? I did what they told me to do. I pull off the impossible and then they change the rules at the very last minute? God, those sons of bitches. Now they want a million dollars. There's nothing I can do. I mean, my dad's gonna die, and there's nothing I can do. No, no, he's not gonna die, okay? We'll, we'll get the money. How? And we can't rob your bank twice. Can we? Her name's Cassie Avison. She goes to your high school. Do you know her? I know of her. We're not friends, if that's what you're asking. That's interesting, because the admitting nurse and the security guard said that this girl was the girl who admitted you in this hospital less than an hour ago. They're mistaken. Uh, my friends Barbara and Nancy dropped me off. Really? So why do you think uh, Nancy and Barbara ran from the security guards? Sometimes they smoke a little weed. Maybe they had some on them and didn't want to get busted. Where'd you go hiking this morning? Tory Pines. Sure you weren't here? Because my witnesses said that Cassie was helping an African-American girl with a broken leg out of a van this morning that just so happened to be the same van used in the getaway at the bank robbery. How long you want to play this game, Grace? It's like, you're a smart woman. School principal says you're going to Stanford, going to be a lawyer. Good for you. You should know better than to get messed up in something like this. I know you were with Cassie this morning. Who else? Come on, Grace. I just, I mean, if you cooperate with me, that's going to take the edge off. You know, it's your first offense. You're going to do a short sentence. But if you don't, I'm going to make sure you do hard time for armed robbery and attempted murder. Do you understand those legal terms, counselor? All right. I'll talk. Okay. Good. All right, start with this morning. I want to know everything. Go. I, um, I woke up, did some reading. No person shall be held to answer on a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on a presentment or indictment of a grand jury. Fifth Amendment. I'm not going to say.
chop it up and make you feel the groove. Watch him chop it up and make you feel so rude. I gotta walk around, man. Shut up, all right? I'm sick of you. You were holding it. All you had to do was look inside. We bragged 370. All right? We're going to Reno, just like we planned. Well, I want the rest of it. Look, we know where Abby's gonna be at 4 o'clock. I'm not mixing it up with Pancho Villa and his band of mariachi mutilators, all right? I won't. Well, I've got it all figured out, if so... Did, I don't want to hear about it. Okay, remember one honk, I go in. And two, you get out of there, okay? Listen to me! We get to the border early. We grab the cash from Abby before the kidnappers show up. There isn't enough time, all right? There isn't enough time. I want to be on the road in the next 30 minutes just like we planned. Pack your stuff. I thought I said I wasn't talking to you. Grace Miller, 18 years old, African-American. Senior editor of the school newspaper. That ring a bell? Um, She's at the Adobe Park Hospital Medical Center with a broken leg. My guess is that she probably broke her leg uh, when the van flipped, part of the robbery. Now, I've been trying to get her to talk for the last 20 minutes. Since she's not saying anything, that's why I called you. Is Cassie friends with Grace? Miss Avison. I, uh, I don't know. You sound unsure. Well, she's mentioned the name Grace Miller in passing, but just like any other girl in school, so. No, I don't know if they're actually friends. I guess you'll just have to ask Cassie when you finally get around to locating her. You know, I may not be a mom, but if I were... I think I know who my kid hangs out with. In fact, I probably know everything about her life. You can search her room for drugs from time to time, because you never know what she might be up to. I'll take that into consideration. And I'll call you if I get any more names. It's her. That was one sneaky-ass move, Abby. We need to talk. I'm listening. I don't need any long-term trouble from you guys, so I want to work out a truce. Okay, what kind of truce? You've got 370,000. I've got 650. I'm willing to put up 150K for you guys to back off. Half a million for each of us, no hard feelings. Interested? We're interested. Then it's a deal. No changing your mind. No changing my mind. Okay. I'm out front of your house. Stay on the line. Have a beer, talk it over. Actually, let's uh, let's do it outside. Fine. Come here. You guys come to me. I've got the cash in the trunk. All right.
We gotta go. We're gonna go get your dad, so we just, we just gotta get out of here. Abby, come on, we gotta get out of here. What do you think they're gonna do when they find the bodies? It'll look like a drug deal gone wrong. There are probably 20 guys out there that would love to see Nick dead. So you wanna tell me what happened? Grace. How are you feeling? Hi, Mrs. Addison. Uh, great. Um, they're gonna operate in the morning. Where's your mom? She's on her way. She had to work up in Oakland today. 
Those are pretty. Where'd you get them? Oh, my dining room table, sorry. Didn't have time to go to the florist. But strawberry, banana, pineapple with protein powder and a vitamin dose. Wow, how'd you know this was my favorite? Because you and Cassie always get the same thing. Yeah, for years. Where is she? The FBI knows you were involved. What I don't get, why would someone like you about to go to one of the top universities in the country want to rob a bank? Do you need money for tuition? <laughs> Grace, please. Tell me what's going on. Now, as I was driving here, I was thinking I should prepare some really clever argument to convince you to talk, but uh, I couldn't come up with anything. Like, all I know is um, my husband's gone now. he's my whole life. I make her breakfast. Um, I, uh, on Mondays, I wash her clothes. I pay her car insurance when she forgets. I want to uh, help pick out her classes for college and uh, really hope she goes to college. I want to see her find a career she really loves. Grace, I really want to see her get married. This morning, someone in a mask put a gun to her head, and I couldn't do anything. I'm her mother, and my job is to protect her, and I couldn't do anything. Is that the last time I went to see her? Oh, Grace, please. I don't know where she is. I don't know if she's been taken from me or she's just running away from me or what is going on. So please, please. Please, Grace, just tell me what's going on. I love her so much. And I love you and Abby. And I always have ever since you were little and I coached you in soccer. Remember that? We never won one game, but we had a lot of fun, right? Please. I am so sorry about all this. I, I can't say anything, but if it's any help, just know this whole thing will be over in 45 minutes. What's happening at four o'clock? Coyote Pass off of Highway 98. They're going to the desert. Grace, why? Why are they going there? I can't say.
okay. How did you find us? It wasn't easy. What are you doing? I want the truth. Miss Avison, you need to leave. Why? What is going on? They can't see you. They'll think it's a trap. She's right, Mom. They? Who's they? Whoa. Girls, I am not budging, so you better just spit it out. What is going on? Abby's dad was kidnapped in Tijuana, and the kidnappers are going to be here any minute. What? They told me that I had to give them a half a million dollars or they would kill him. That's why I robbed the bank. She's telling the truth, Mom. Did you help her? No, I had no idea she was doing any of this until today. Please, don't hate me, Miss Avison. My mom is gone, and my dad is broke. I mean, I couldn't tell the cops. What else could I do? What would you do? This is Mendoza, code 1031. I'm at the end of Coyote Pass Trail off Highway 98. I'm gonna need backup. Code 1031. Please, Mrs. Addison, my dad's life depends on it. We need to get out of here right now. We'll call the police, they'll handle it. Come on. No, I'm not leaving without my dad. You and Cassie should just go and get out of here. No, we all go together. No, I'm staying. You're always bugging me to have some kind of ambition, right? To believe in something? Well, Abby is my best friend. Oh, and if I walk out on her on a time like this, then what kind of a woman am I? You are gonna be a dead woman. And none of that idealistic garbage that I taught you will mean anything. Do you hear me? Let's go, both of you. <laughs> Where are you? This is my friend and her mom. I told you to come alone. You're a cop? No, I'm just here to help Abby. Chaperona. Pretty ones. You got the money? Looks like a million to me. <laughs> Senorita Duncan, it was a pleasure doing business with you. Maybe we do it again sometime, yes? <laughs> <laughs> Get your people behind me now. Come on. Okay. 
Where are the other police? Turn around. You all know, senora? Shut up and turn around. Get down on your knees now. <sighs> I don't see nobody. What happened to your police friends? Did they forget about you? Turn around now. No, Miguelito. a mi hijo. So you're my pretty little bank robber, huh? I know what my daughter did was wrong. She didn't mean to hurt anybody. She doesn't deserve to go to jail. Please. She's all I have left. Is there something you can do? Is this the weapon you used? In the bank robbery? Well, is it or not? Who does the gun belong to? Nobody. It's black market. It can't be traced. Are you prepared to make a statement that those were the three guys that kidnapped you this morning? Oh. I want you to think about what I'm asking you, Cassie. Yes. Still have some contacts in Tijuana. I'm gonna say I got a tip the robbers were here making their way to the border. What's that? Look at the surveillance video at the bank. You'll see. Thank you. I never want to see your face again. Mendoza. We're 15 minutes out. Okay, I'm gonna need a 1052. Copy that. All right, three of you need to get out of here. You too. I'm staying with my daughter. Look, if I'm gonna pin this bank job on those three guys, you're gonna need to leave. Look, you have no idea what I have gone through to try and find her today. And if you think for one second. Mom. I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> I 
as you will be. Hey, can I ask you a question? Yeah. If you were in Abby's situation and someone you loved was kidnapped and you had to get a hold of a million dollars, what would you do? Me? I'd probably rob a bank. Thank you.